Hi, I'm Maddie, and welcome to Master Spas TV, your spot to learn how to practically everything related to your Master Spas hot tub or swim spa. In this episode, we're going to review the settings of the touchscreen control panel used on your hot tub or swim spa. The touchscreen control panel is featured on the following Master Spas products. Twilight Series Hot Tubs, Michael Phelps Legend Series Hot Tubs, Michael Phelps Signature Swim Spas, and most H2X Swim Spas. Although the size and shape of these panels may look different, they all operate the same. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump back into learning the more detailed settings of the touchscreen control panel. Here we go! First, in the top left corner of the screen, you will see an H, which stands for high temperature range, or an L, which stands for low temperature range. You'll want to keep your hot tub set in high temperature range if you always want it to be ready for whenever you might decide to take a soap. The low temperature range can be thought of as set for vacation. This allows you to set your temperature between 50 and 99 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a great feature for when you know you won't be using your hot tub or swim spa for a while. There are also two heating modes. When your unit does have a circulation pump, it will always be in ready mode, which allows for on-demand heating so that your water will always be at its set temperature. On hot tubs without a circulation pump, if you want to keep your water at a set temperature, make sure to leave it on the ready mode. However, if you're okay with your water temperature fluctuating slightly, you can keep it on the rest mode and it will only heat during established filtration cycles. So let's set our TS 7.2 into high temperature range and ready mode. Next, let's talk about your filtration cycle. It's important to set your filter cycle to properly maintain the condition of the water. The duration of your filter cycle is influenced by how much your master spa is being used and by how many people, so you may need to be adjusting the filter cycle on a regular basis. If you have a unit fitted with the 24-hour circulation pump, it will continuously be filtering unless the actual water temperature exceeds the set temperature by 3 degrees Fahrenheit, in which case it temporarily shuts down until the water temperature gets back into range. To access the filtration programming, let's go to the settings screen. From there, press filter, then press filter 1 to access the primary filtration cycle. We're going to set ours for 4 hours, with a start time of 9 a.m. and an end time of 1 p.m. It's easy to do using the up and down arrows. Just be sure to hit the check mark which serves as a save button for what we're programming. There is a secondary filter cycle that can be set as well. We can access that by pressing 2 on the filter screen. This cycle is usually turned off. If you do need it due to your hot tub or swim spa being used a lot, you can turn it on by pressing 2 again. We'll set this cycle to run from 10.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. The lock indicator is shown when either the control panel has been locked to prevent unwanted use or if you don't want the settings to be changed. To set or unlock, you can go to the settings screen, find the lock icon, represented by a key, and click on it. From there, you can choose the appropriate path you want to go, followed by holding down the lock or unlock for at least five seconds. Finally, let's make sure we've got our reminders on. These are pre-programmed and timed messages that will display on the home screen, like clean filter. So now you know all about the settings of your touchscreen control panel. We hope this helped answer any questions. If not, reach out to us at customercare at masterspas.com and we'd be happy to help out. Be sure to check back for more Master Spas TV. And if you have ideas for future topics, please put them in the comments or email us at howto at masterspas.com. Until next time, happy hot tubbing.